Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to The Real Deal Show, presented by ebodyboarding.com and Tribe Boards. Hey everyone, it's Jay Real with The Real Deal Show, and uh, we are now in the middle of the month of May, and this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to report on a couple of uh, things going on that you guys might want to know about or should know about. Starting with uh, a great event that Vicky and I participated in back in late April. This is an event put on by a good friend of ours named Dave Long and his now wife, Trina. Uh, it's, it's called the Master Blaster Contest. So Dave first kind of came up with the brainchild of this thing, I think last fall. He wanted to have a bodyboard meetup, which is kind of a common thing now amongst the different Facebook groups out there. Uh, and we started doing these at T Street several years ago, um, kind of inspired by Cameron Steele. Really, he initiated it uh, with us. Um, and it basically just involves people kind of getting together that have been in the sport for a while, or maybe they're, they're new to the sport and want to meet people that are you know fellow bodyboarders that have the same interests as them so uh, what they do is everybody just gets together at the beach maybe it's a potluck people bring food to the beach and you hang out and go for a surf and eat and just talk story it's super fun it's enabled a lot of people to get together and enjoy each other's company uh, the APB North America back in uh, November of 2019 had a contest the U.S. Bodyboard Festival in Ocean Beach in San Diego. Uh, and Dave Long was there. I was there. There was uh, maybe over 100 people. And it was a competition. But it was really kind of a meetup and competition at the same time. So we were all there to sort of hang out and talk stories, I mentioned. But hey, there was this cool contest and there was a master's division. So it was a 40 and over division which was really cool because older riders like myself were able to get together, put that competition jersey back on and, you know, get back into that, that old feeling of competing against your friends. But the, the attitude out in the water was a lot different than it was, say, back in my pro bodyboarding career. You know, my, my goal out there was to enjoy myself. And there were a lot of laughs and a little bit of, you know, uh, ribbing sort of in fun, you know, sort of trash talking that I'm going to beat you, you might beat me, that kind of thing. So anyway, I think Dave had such a good time at that event, and we all did, that Dave said, you know, I want to keep this train rolling. Well, of course, it's been a pandemic year. No events have been happening, no meetups. A couple of meetups have happened sort of under the radar. But Dave wanted to make this one really special. So he started uh, inviting people to the event. It was strictly three divisions in this event. It was a master's division for riders over 40. There was a vintage division, which they've had in Australia. There's been a few of these put on by the vintage bodyboard collectors over the last few years. But this is the first one that I know of in the United States. And so it was a vintage division, which means that you had to ride a bodyboard that was at least 20 years old or older. So that was going to be really cool. And there was a Grom division, basically 17 and under, 18 and under, kind of loose rules. And really the gist of the contest was to get together, enjoy each other's company, and hey, there's a contest in the background too. So, you know, some people, I suppose, took it more seriously than others. I went up there purely with the attitude of, hey, I'm gonna go hang out with my old bodyboarding friends for the weekend, um, and oh yeah, I'll compete in the event. If I lose first heat, doesn't matter. I'm just there really for the meetup. That was the whole idea. So. Uh, the event was in Ventura, California at a, a beach called Summers Beach. Um, Dave kind of kept it under the radar. He didn't want anybody to promote the event because, quite honestly, there were no permits in place for the event. You know, So it was a really uh, low-key event. So we showed up 
Uh, this was on a Saturday. The event was taking place. We had gone up the night before. We got a hotel room in Ventura, and we met everybody at the beach the next morning. There was a pumping south swell in the water, uh, but that beach doesn't really pick up much of it. So I went in knowing the waves weren't going to be like all-time best ever. Uh, but again, you know, the whole idea was just to hang out for the day with, with our old friends. Um, Vicky and I competed, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, Vicky got through her first heat. I think she lost in her second heat. Um, I ended up making it through all the way to the final, had to surf four times that day. Uh, the water was chilly, <laughs> um, up, upper 50s, and the waves just got worse and worse as the wind came up through the morning. By the final, the wind was blowing. It was kind of closeouts, maybe in the waist high, maybe the odd chest high set range. Um, and I just, you know, I just got a couple waves that had enough open face that I could do more than one maneuver <laughs> that enabled me to uh, take the win. So I won the master's division and um, the vintage division happened and the Grom division happened. Adam Brower, who works for us here in the summertime, he won the Grom division. There was only two guys, Scotty Plowden and Adam. And uh, the vintage division eludes me who won the vintage division. I can't believe I can't remember that right now. But the key thing about the vintage division, there were some really cool old boards that came out of the, the woodwork. There were some old Mach 7s. There were some old Barba boards. In fact, uh, one of the highlights of the event was Ron Zabel, who's an old friend of mine, former pro bodyboarder. He broke his back at the wedge in the late 2000s. And he's been uh, partially paralyzed ever since. And I mean, he, he was an amazing bodyboarder back in his day. But he's still able to get in the water, just not obviously at the wedge, uh, but Ron competed in the event. He actually made it through some heats, got an in and out barrel out there and showed shades of the Ron dog Zabel of old. So uh, stoked to see you back out there, Ron, if you happen to watch or listen to this. Um, so a big thank you to Dave and Trina Long. They gave out some incredible prizes, by the way. I got some really killer stuff. <laughs> Uh, as uh, the winner of the Masters Division and just had a blast reconnecting with old faces. So hope we see more of that kind of stuff coming up. All right, on to the next thing. This is a future event. Um, if you don't already know, t this year, 2021, is the 50th anniversary of the invention of the boogie. And why do I call it the boogie? Because that's what Tom Morey called it when he invented it back in July of 1971. He just called it the boogie. Not the boogie board, not the body board, it was just the boogie. Uh, he was into music and boogie woogie music was a kind of a, a jazz type of music that he really liked. And he kind of felt like you'd get out there on the wave and you'd kind of move around like you were doing the boogie woogie, right? So he called it the boogie. Uh, and Tom is going to be the guest of honor at a big event that's being put on but there's a big group of people behind this event. It's basically called the, the Golden Jubilee, 50th anniversary of the boogie. Uh, and there are several uh, places to go online to check this out. There's uh, boogie50years.com. There's uh, Facebook groups, History of Bodyboarding, uh, Boogie 50 Years. You can search all this. And again, I'll put links in the bottom of the YouTube uh, broadcast and um, you can see links uh, on Facebook as well. There'll be uh, links on our Facebook page to that if you search around there. So this event, Patty Serrano, who is one of the first people to work for Tom Mori, she used to do uh, advertising, or, well promotions actually. She was like marketing and promotions um, and she kind of introduced me to the Mori company back in 19... 80 when she came to my hometown in Maryland, as I mentioned in uh, one of my earlier shows. Uh, but at any rate, um, Patty's putting on this huge event, a lot of people involved in um, selling booths, and there's going to be food there and so forth. It's July 10th, 
And that event is going to take place in Oceanside, California at Buccaneer Beach. It's going to be from 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. Again, there's food. You can go online to the websites I mentioned and buy prepay for food. There's a limited amount of meals. Uh, Kevin Opie Broadley, who owns Kevin Opie's Smokehouse, it's a barbecue business. He's based up in Oregon now. He used to live down here in Southern Cal. Uh, he will be selling epic barbecue food. <laughs> Trust me, I've had it before. Um, and you pay in advance online and then you get get basically a, um, a meal when you get down to the beach. So that'll be all day at Buccaneer Beach on July 10th. And then July 11th, here in San Clemente, where we're located, San Clemente, California, in Southern Orange County, at T Street, our local spot, which has a, a massive history in the sport of bodyboarding. Uh, we're just going to have a, a fun sesh, you know, with whoever wants to show up. It'll start at 10 a.m. because that's when the black ball flag goes up here in San Clemente. Uh, 10 a.m. and uh, at 2 p.m., we're going to come up here to ebodyboarding.com. This is on Sunday the 11th again. And we're going to open on Sunday. We're never normally open on weekends, but we're going to open from 2 to 6 on Sunday uh, so that anyone who's in town or may need gear on the weekend can come by. Even if you don't need gear, you can swing by. We'll take you and show you around the warehouse. And we actually have this really cool wall of fame out in the hallway. You can go to our YouTube channel and click on the tour of e-bodyboarding it's one of the videos we have on there and see it online if you don't live in southern california or you can't make it but anyone who's in town we're happy to help you out so that again is uh the weekend of july 10th and 11th and um you know it's july 7th i believe is the date that tom made the first boogie over in kailua kona on the uh, west side of the big island so we're really close to that date by putting on this event uh, that weekend. So hopefully uh, all those of you in Southern California can see it. Those of you that can, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of like Facebook and Instagram live broadcasts, tons of social media. So you can kind of feel like you're part of the event. And that is, uh, that's going to be a cool one that's coming up. Well, at this point when I'm recording this, it'll be two months from now. So we hope to see a lot of you there. I just wanted to report on those two events. Again, on the Master Blaster Contest, I'll be uh, posting um, an article about the event and some pictures and the results so you can see what went down at that event. Again, super cool. And uh, we have some um, e-bodyboarding trips coming up. Go to the bottom of the website, click Bodyboarding Travel. And you'll see what we got going on. We, I, I don't want to say anything just yet because we haven't solidified everything. But one thing that is for sure, we'll be going on the bodyboard holidays trip to El Salvador. That's going to be uh, the end of January 2022, barring anything crazy happening in the world. You know how that goes. Um, but we're, uh, it'll be our third time there with bodyboard holidays. Vicki and I are special guests on that trip and we go down there and score epic waves and you can join us. Uh, you just go to bodyboardholidays.com. That's my friend, Rob Barber, who's based in the UK. He's been doing worldwide bodyboarding and coaching trips for many years, almost two decades to be honest. And he is a legend. He does it right, man. You'll get instruction if you want it you'll get photos and video of your trip um, and lots going on there and of course uh, with e-bodyboarding we do our Tavi tube tour trip every year that's to Tavarua in Fiji uh, that is happening right now we're juggling spots we are pretty close to sold out I'm not offering up spots at this point because we have mostly repeat people from prior years coming. But if, if we do need to open up spots, that is the place where you'll find it. Um, so that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching on YouTube and listening uh, on our podcast. If you are watching on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to the Bodyboarding YouTube channel and uh, give us a thumbs up on the, um, on the show and post any comments you may have. Again, I'm gonna get you guys involved in the show in the near future. I have some great interviews coming up in the can that I'm gonna um, launch very soon and I'll make announcements about that. And uh, that's about it for today. Folks, thank you so much. We'll see you next time and we'll see you in the surf.